This is going to be for the PERT, P-E-R-T. We have three problems to look at. I'm going to show you each one. So this one is, you're supposed to work with that one. And then this one here, we're just supposed to, it's like a fraction problem, right? And the final one is the quotient of a number and 12 is 7. So write the equation, x is the unknown number. So I'll let you pause right now if you want to. La, 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 la. And remember, I like to get phone numbers from my students. Because we want them to, let's see, what do we want students to do? We want you guys to talk about um, grammar. This is on the test where you go like it's and it's. That's a, a grammar thing. Right? Or you might have a confusion between, um, well, let's see, when do we use which and when do we use that? Ooh, that'll be a good one. And, oh, let's see, there's spelling. That's another one. And I, I'd like you to write a short essay. I mean, it can be something like you read an article and you're making a copy of, or a summary of it. All right. So now you've had a chance to actually look at these. Let's do the first one. I think the first thing to do here is just to look and say, okay, we're going to take that negative and apply it through. I, th I think we want to start there because there's nothing really to do here. We could try to resolve this, but nothing's happening. I see v to the 6 relating more with that one, which is why I made it the same color. Okay, so the minus a negative is a plus. Minus a plus is a negative. Okay, so what are we doing here? We are putting this one over here. The two V6s go together. So we get this. So I have 3v6 and v6, v to the sixth power. And we have 2v2, uh, 6v2 minus v2. v squared, I understand we're supposed to say that, or v to the second power. Now we're going to put those two guys together. That's where we get the 7. What happens when you put those two? The v plus 3 becomes 4v. And that would be the answer there. Now, sometimes what you'll do is you'll put the v squared on the outside. You might have something like this. You know, 7 times v squared gives you there. That's negative 7. And v to the 4th power times v to the 2nd will give you the v to the 6th. So that's a multiplication too. Yeah. Our second problem, well, I'll do it out of order just because I have this. Do you remember what quotients are? If you have a little problem with quotients, what do you call the thing when you multiply two things together? They're factors, I know, but we talk about a product, so it's not going to be a multiplication. It's not a sum, and it's not a difference. So, that's right, we're going to divide. So the way it was worded, we always go from top to down. So the quotient of a number and 12. A number and 12. The quotient of a number and 12 is 7. That's how you set it up. Now, one more here to do. Remember that fraction one? I like sort of resolving these multiplications before we go on and do some adding and subtracting. So. Let's go ahead and multiply this. That's what I get. We do that first multiplication. Hmm. Now, when I'm subtracting, let's see, it's 14 minus 30, I really have to think about it. Okay, they're going in two different directions. You go 14, and then you go negative 30, you know, and this is 0. This is plus 14. And this whole thing is negative. We're going to subtract them. They're going in two different directions. So there's the 16. Now, 
is there more negative or more positive? I'd say there's more negative, so we use that number. We're going to put that number, negative 16, up there. And that's what we get. Negatives cross out, you know, top and bottom, and we get 2 over 1. Because we can say 2 times 8 and 1 times 8. Does that help? 2 times 8, 1 times 8. Then we cross those out. And you get two. Hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to your phone calls, your emails. And um, see if you can look up this, which and that, and explain it to me when we have our meeting next week.